This sample demonstrates how to add E-prime extensions for fMRI package calls to any pre-existing E-prime experiment. The sample shown here is called PRESS and is included in the tutorial section that comes with an installation of E-prime extensions for fMRI. First, navigate to the Experiment Object Properties window. This is done by either double-clicking on the Experiment Object at the top of the Structure window or by pressing Control e Once there, click on the Packages tab to add the E-Prime extensions for fMRI package call. This is done by clicking the Add button at the bottom of the screen and selecting fMRI and clicking OK. Click OK on the Experiment Object Properties window to accept all changes and exit out of the window. Now we will add a few package calls to the experiment. Open the experiment session proc and drag a package call experiment object just before the instructions text object. Rename this package call fMRI session init. This is done by clicking on the package call experiment object, pressing F2, and then typing fMRI session init. Changing the name of an experiment object is either done by changing the name of the experiment object properties page, shown here, or by pressing F2 when the object in question is highlighted. Open the package call properties page by double clicking on the package call. Change the package drop-down box to fMRI and change the routine drop-down box to session init. This package call turns on the EEFMRI support as well as creates a PDAT file as output. Click OK to accept the changes and close out of the package call window. The next important package call we are going to add is called fMRI run begin. While still in the experiment session proc, drag another package call experiment object in between the instructions text object and the block list text object. Rename this package call object fMRI run begin. Open the package call to view its properties page. Change the package drop-down box to fMRI and change the routine drop-down box to run begin. This package call marks the beginning of the functional scan. Click OK to accept the changes and close out of the package call window. Because the fMRI run begin package call was added, we must now add the fMRI run end package call. Still in the session proc, drag another package call experiment object in between the block list object and the goodbye text object. Rename this package call object fMRI run end. Open the package call properties page. Change the package drop-down box to fMRI and change the routine drop-down box to run end. This package call marks the end of the functional scan. Click OK to accept the changes and close out of the package call window. FMRI experiments sometimes require menus. To do that, we'll have to add a few menu package calls as well as changing a few things about the experiment structure. First, you'll have to add the FMRI menu begin package call. 
drag a package call object from the toolbox and place it after the fMRI session init package call you added previously. Rename the package call fMRI menu begin. Open the package call properties page. Change the package drop-down box to fMRI and change the routine drop-down box to menu begin. This package call searches for information used to populate the menu that it creates. Click OK to accept the changes and exit out of the package call properties page. Now that the menu begin package call has been created, a menu end package call needs to be created. Drag a package call object from the toolbox and place it before the goodbye text object. Rename the package call fMRI menu end. Open the package call properties page. Change the package drop down box to fMRI and change the routine drop down box to menu end. Click OK to accept the changes and exit out of the package call properties page. A list needs to be added in order to populate the newly created menu. To do this, drag a list object from the toolbox and place it in the session proc just after the fMRI menu begin object that you previously created. Rename the list object run list. Open the Run List Properties window by double-clicking on it. While in the Properties window, create a new column. Name this column Menu Item. Edit the text cell to read Press. Change the procedure to press run proc. Click yes to create a new procedure. Click no. Now that a new procedure has been created that the newly created menu will draw from, the new procedure needs to be populated. Open Press Run Proc and place it directly under the Session Proc in the workspace. While holding the Shift key, drag the Instructions text object the fMRI Run Begin package call block list and fMRI Run End from the session proc to press run proc. And there you have it. That is how you add ePrime extensions for fMRI package calls to any experiment.